Postdeco Glue suffers a new injury setback. Ronnie Daler is interested in a Celtic winger and could make a move to bring Mikey Johnston to Belgium. Yosuke Idaguchi has suffered another injury blow and will miss the start of the season. The midfielder was an unused substitute in Saturday's 2-0 win over Norwich, but has now suffered a fresh setback to his Celtic career. Signed at the same time as Rio Hat 8 and Daisen Maeda, the former Gama Osaka midfielder is still waiting to complete his first 90 minutes as a Celtic player. Yosuke Idaguchi is set to miss the start of the season after suffering another injury blow. The luckless Celtic midfielder had a nightmare start to his Parkhead career after being crocked against Aloha in January. Sunsport understands Idaguchi, 25, has now picked up a fresh injury problem in training and faces another spell on the sidelines. It is too early yet to gauge the extent of the injury, but the midfield enforcer could face a lengthy spell out of the game. Idaguchi's last appearance came as a 60-second substitute for David Turnbull in the 6-0 win over Motherwell as the curtain came down on a memorable crusade at a rocking stadium on May 14. He will be in the stand when Angie Postecoglou's men commence the defence of their premiership title against Aberdeen at Parkhead on Sunday. Aaron Moy came off the bench against Norwich and now looks to have taken a step closer to a place in midfield. Celtic's build-up to the new season has been relatively injury-free, with Carl Starfelt the only other absentee for Sunday's match against Aberdeen. Mikey Johnston hasn't had luck at all when it comes to injuries. The winger has picked up some major setbacks ever since trying to make his way through to the first team. The Celtic Academy star has the talent, but staying fit and then being afforded a run of games to show what he can do looks unlikely. The Celtic manager, Postacoglu, is set to sanction a loan move for Mikey before the end of this window. The report claims former hoops gaffer Ronnie Daler is interested in the Celtic winger and could make a move to bring Mikey to Belgium. Mikey is also on the radar of clubs down south as he looks to kickstart his career. The ideal place for the player could be in Scotland at a top six side in the SPFL. Could there be interest in the wee man from a club crying out for more attacking options? Jota, Maeda, Abada, Forrest and even Kyogo can play out on the wing. Even with Angie rotating, Mikey isn't going to get the game time he needs to develop. A season away on loan could be the making of him. Danny Lennon may ultimately not have seen the best of Aaron Moy when he managed him at St Mirren, but he has a feeling that Celtic manager Angie Postacoglu will ensure his new club's supporters see a midfielder at the peak of his powers. There is a school of thought that for all of the technically gifted players Celtic are blessed with in the middle of the park, they miss some of the bite that left with Scott Brown last summer, and need greater solidity in that area of the park when they make the step up to the Champions League. In other Celtic FC news, Chris Sutton is slightly puzzled by Chris Jullian's situation at Celtic, but expects the defender to move out of the club before the end of August. The Frenchman flew over for discussions with Schalke about a move to the Bundesliga, but for whatever reasons returned to Celtic to resume pre-season preparations. Jullian started and scored in Celtic's opening pre-season friendly against Wiener Victoria, but in the five matches, that have followed Stephen Welsh has partnered Cameron Carter-Vickers in central defence. Carl Starfelt will miss Sunday's SPFL opener at home to Aberdeen, but it is likely that Welsh and Moritz Jens will be ahead of Jullian for a place in the side. Christopher Jullian, for whatever reason, and I've got to say that I think Christopher Jullian in a Celtic shirt has had some really big moments, he's been a good player. For whatever reason, Angie Postacoglu has seen him in training and he's not for him. We know from the way that Celtic play, in many respects the centre-half, has to be the best player because Angie Postacoglu's style likes to overload in the midfield and forward areas and that leaves the centre-half having to defend on their own at times. Maybe Angie Postacoglu feels that Christopher Jullian isn't capable enough to do that. It looks like the decision has been made on him. They can't leave themselves short in that position. A combination of circumstances have worked against Jullian, mainly through injury. 
It was February of last season, before he made his only top team appearance. In the meantime Carter Vickers and Starfelt had formed a reliable partnership in central defence. As a £7 million signing in 2019, Jolyon will be one of the highest earners at the club, with his contract expiring in May 2023. He is in the phase where he holds the cards with Postacoglu sticking with Carter Vickers and Starfelt to provide stability away from the contract and transfer speculation. And on that note, have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the-